Hey everybody, welcome to Home Built Workshop. I'm Jeff Baker. In this episode, I'm going to build this chalkboard coat rack to hang in my daughter's room. It's got some hooks so she can hang her coats and jackets, and a chalkboard surface so she can draw and color on. To build this little coat rack, I'm going to use some more of these leftover fence pickets that I used to make this sign back here. If you haven't seen the video for that sign, check it out right here. One problem with using these old fence pickets that I ran into right away is this one's split. It's got a nasty crack right there, and that's right where I need to cut it. So I need to glue that up first and try to repair that crack. I'm going to try to just squirt some glue in there. And then we'll clamp it up, and this will be the back. And we'll let that dry. Now our glue's dry from this craft piece. We can take it out of the clamps. And now we can move to the table saw and get these things cut. I'm gonna start by laying out all my cuts on my pieces of wood. One thing I found that helps get more accurate cuts is to bring your line all the way around the front of your piece of wood. This helps you line it up with your saw blade a little bit better. Now we'll cut them. This is where it's really nice having your line wrap around the front piece of your wood. It really makes it easier to line up your cut line with your saw blade. Now I can start laying out the pieces and you can kind of see how this is going to look. I'm going to use these shaker pegs that I got from my grandfather to put along here. So now I've got to lay out the marks for that. I'm going to use five hooks. So one will go right in the middle. I used a Forstner bit to drill those holes, but it turns out I really didn't need to because the, the length of this shoulder on these shaker pegs is about exactly the same width as this board, so most of my holes are just through holes, so a regular drill bit would have worked just fine. Um, I didn't realize that was going to work out that way, but a Forstner bit is just fine. It still has a nice square hole, and I think it's going to work pretty cool. I've laid out the pieces for the frame upside down so I can mark where I'm going to drill my pocket holes. I don't want to drill them on the wrong side. And using my pocket hole jig, I'll drill all the pocket holes. For the assembly, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the ends. And pocket screw them together. If you've never used pocket screws, I really recommend trying them out. They work great for a lot of projects. The only thing you have to do is plan your project around where your pocket holes are going to be. There. That assembles the main frame. 
Before I can assemble the rest, we need to move to the router table. I'm using a round over bit to round over all the corners. Since this is gonna be a chalkboard, I need a tray to hold the chalk. So I need to have a groove in here so the chalk can sit without rolling off. I'm gonna use this little bit that I picked up. I guess it's called a core box bit. And now I'll route a rabbit into the back to hold the chalkboard, much like a picture frame. And I'll just square up the corners with a chisel. And now I'll just sand everything down before I do the final assembly. I'm not going to sand it completely smooth because I want to keep some of the old weathered look on these boards. It's one thing I like about these fence pickets. They look old, but they're really not. The main reason for I was sanding it down is just to eliminate splinters and any sharp corners. Feels pretty good. We'll drill a few more pocket holes. And I'll glue in the shaker pegs. And we'll clean up the little bit of squeeze out here as best we can. One of these is a little bit loose. I don't know if it's the peg or the hole. I think the glue will hold it just fine though. For the chalkboard, I'm going to use this piece of sheet metal that I've had sitting around the shop here for quite a while. Alright, so now that I had to cut it a second time, let's see if it fits. Apparently the first time I had the wrong measurements on my piece of sheet metal and uh, it was too small. So now this one looks like it's going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and sand it down, get rid of all these nasty burrs. Well, the weather didn't cooperate with me the other day, today it's much nicer and it's going to be perfect weather to spray paint this chalkboard. I'm going to use this spray-on chalkboard paint, uh, it's a Valspar brand, never used it before so I'm kind of excited to see how it works out. I'm going to start out with two coats of spray-on primer and then we'll put two coats of the chalkboard paint. For the wooden parts on the coat rack, I'm going to wipe off all the dust and then spray it with a couple of coats of spray lacquer. So now that everything's dried overnight, it's time to assemble. The assembly is going to be pretty simple. It's just a matter of dropping our chalkboard in. and I've cut a thin piece of hardboard to back it all up. And then we'll just nail it in place with a few brads. Well, there's the finished chalkboard coat rack. I really like the look of those fence pickets. It makes it look like the wood is nice and aged. I think this is gonna be great in my daughter's room. She's going to have a place to hang her coats and jackets and also be able to color on the chalkboard. Thanks for watching this episode of Home Built Workshop. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Home Built Shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
Works better when you plug it in. Don't forget to put your phone on quiet when you're trying to record.